Happy New Year, everybody. It's Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. Got to do an update as the first of the year because we've got a lot going on. We've got a warm, windy, record-breaking day for temperatures today. Severe weather possible maybe late tonight, early tomorrow. We'll talk about that. And then, yes, there is a chance we could see some wet snowflakes on Monday east of the mountains. It is a possibility, and I'll explain who and what uh, or where that could happen. So here's the system. This is a really dynamic system. Um, when you see this, you could see the large storm system here, uh, front here. This whole thing is slowly pushing east. So today, most of the activity is just going to be to our west here, um, where we're going to see some of the more active weather. I'm going to turn on the temperatures real quickly just to show you how crazy warm it is south of this boundary. And if you've been out to today, you know it's not only is it warm, it's super windy. And the wind's going to stay up because this is a very strong storm system, the wind behind it coming in like this. So you're going to see those gusty southwest winds. I call it the blowtorch because... We're like two degrees away from a record right now, and it's 11 a.m. So we're probably going to break the record high today pretty easily. We already broke a record warm low this morning, but uh, we're probably going to see a couple records fall today. So let me show you the severe weather outlook today. I'll, I'll turn it on with the clouds and the radar going because it kind of shows you where we're going to see that severe weather risk. Not hard to see um, right in this area is our best risk. Now, these storms will be pushing our direction late tonight, early tomorrow. I'm talking three, four, five, six in the morning. So the severe weather outlook for tomorrow, you could see is shifted off to the southeast. Let me let me stop this real quickly. And I'm gonna take off the uh, satellite data just for a second. So this is tomorrow's severe weather outlook. So tomorrow, this is where that front will be moving through. So you kind of get the idea. There's uh, tomorrow's severe weather outlook and there is today. So you could see basically that's just the movement of the storms going off in this direction. So. Let's talk about what this is going to look like. Let's pop up the future cast. All right, so here's the future cast. Obviously, most of today is going to be dry, windy, but I can't rule out a stray shower moving through. Most of the action, though, today is going to be to our west. So we'll stop this around uh, 4 o'clock Eastern time. And one thing you notice, boy, these look like supercells back here to the west um, over Tennessee. This is why there's that high risk in this area. So that's an area we'll watch. And then the main front is right here. So we'll keep an eye on these. We'll probably be tracking in this direction, but we'll got to keep an eye on the Western Mountains tonight because some of those storms might make a run at us. This is 7 o'clock. Notice there, these storms right here, from Knoxville to Huntsville to Birmingham, those are really the ones that I am most concerned about for severe weather to our west. So we'll go through the evening hours. They start to consolidate and weaken. So this is what works in our favor. We get towards the later part of the evening, uh, into the overnight. Even though it's super warm and muggy for this time of year, it's still cooler. We don't have as much surface space instability. So by three o'clock in the morning, this line starts approaching the mountains and it starts becoming less supercellular, which is small little cells and more of a straight line. Now, when you see more of a, what we call squall line, this is more an indication of straight line wind threat. Now, occasionally you can, when I, I, I often refer to that squiggly uh, squall line, you can get some some kinks in it that could produce rotation. But look at that right there. This is at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning, Sunday morning. You see that line and it moves across Charlotte. So again, even though it doesn't look impressive on the radar, th this this to me has got straight line winds written all over, especially with the wind energy coming in. So tomorrow morning, there is going to be some really strong winds that will be coming into the Carolinas right around that 4, 5, 6, 7, even 8 o'clock time frame. But the system is weakening. So whew, Good news for us overall, this is a much lower threat than what we're going to see to the west. Now behind it, cold air starts spilling in. It takes a while for the cold air to get in here. But what's interesting is the front is here, right? So basically the front's here. Low pressure forms on the tail end of the front. So the cold air is coming in, and then this low pressure system is going to track up in this direction. So we're going to see some moisture on the back side, possibly in the form of wintry weather. See this low pressure forming starts cranking up on the front. So the front has actually already gone through, and this is why this is actually a somewhat plausible scenario um, for some wet snowflakes, because the cold air is already here. We rarely get cold, cold air on the backside of the front unless you get a low pressure like this to form on the front and then throw moisture back into the cold air. So that's what's happening here. So this is going into you know Sunday night, all rain, rain, snow starts developing in the mountains. But we see another surge of moisture coming into the Carolinas. You can see it right there. As we go through time, we'll go into the early morning hours of Monday. You know, we'll stop this at around 3 a.m. Uh, there's a little band of snow. Now, there's a lot of caveats here. 
this is probably going to be melting on the way down. So how much of this actually makes it to the ground is actual snow is debatable. The ground is super warm, so I don't anticipate much in accumulation, but I'm not going to be surprised. Interstate 40 corridor from Hickory to Statesville to Greensboro to Raleigh. To me, that's kind of the area I'm going to watch for potentially some of these wet snowflakes making it to the ground early on Monday morning as it pushes off to the east. So just something to get a little bit excited for for snow lovers and it kind of shows you a change in the pattern that's going to develop and i'll quickly show you um, kind of the forecast here this is snowfall forecast uh, from the weather service and you can see obviously the mountains man this is great news for the ski resorts but you see this little batch of maybe a trace to a tenth of an inch along interstate 40. Uh, that's where we're watching and then if i look at the you know um, the weather prediction center's kind of same scenario basically not much again don't get super excited this is not going to be something that's going to be laying on the ground no snow day but there could be some wet snowflakes from hickory to statesville to greensboro to raleigh right in there i don't expect anything making it down to the charlotte area but i would be it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility a few wet snowflakes remember not too long ago the monday you know before christmas we had a little bit of sleep didn't amount to much but that's kind of this but maybe in the form of some wet snowflakes. So I'll keep a close eye on it. It's just something to get a little bit excited for um, as we go into the weekend. The bigger story is gonna be this front and the change in the pattern because it gets dramatically colder behind this system. In fact, temperatures going into the next uh, seven to 10 days are really starting to look much, much colder. In fact, this is the uh, bl model blend of forecast temperatures for Charlotte. You can see record high today near 70 tomorrow, but then look at this next week. And a lot of folks go, oh, that looks frigid. Guess what? That's actually right about average for this time of year. So finally, winter making a comeback here, and it's going to move into the Carolinas. But I will caution everybody, please be weather aware to the west today. If you have friends or family um, over the Tennessee Valley, please tell them to be very, very cautious today because this area back here uh, is the area to watch today to our west. And I'll keep an eye on it tonight into tomorrow. Have a great New Year's Day. I will post updates tonight or early tomorrow if they warrant. But right now... Um, just be prepared for some strong gusty winds and then maybe a turn to colder weather.